In this question, you are asked to integrate x to the power 4 by x square plus 1, to x square plus 9, to x square plus 16. So here, this is a slightly special question in this topic of partial fractions. So here, all the terms that you have are made up of x square. So you don't have any odd power terms here. That's a very important thing that you need to observe here. So if you try to do this by normal partial fractions, it will be a very difficult thought because this is a quadratic term, quadratic, quadratic, non-factorizable. So if you have to do the actual partial fractions, it has to be like ax plus b by x square plus 1 plus cx plus d by x square plus 9 plus ex plus f by x square plus 16. So you have 6 unknowns, you have 6 equations, it's very difficult to solve. So here we use slight manipulation. So here what we do is, because we have observed that all these terms are terms of x square, so let x square is equal to t. And this is not an integration substitution. So I am not putting the substitution for integration. So I will put the substitution for partial fractions. So this expression becomes a t square by t plus 1 into t plus 9 into t plus 16. So I am not doing integration substitution, I am just doing the substitution in this expression. So let me see what this expression is. So now the denominator has linear factors. So I can split this into partial fractions directly. And what is the number that I have here? The number that I can that get here is can be obtained by putting t equal to minus 1. So a, b, c. So a is equal to 1 by minus 1 plus 9 is 8, minus 1 plus 16 is 15. So a is 1 by 8 into 15, 1 by 120. So b is equal to, so put t equal to minus 9. So minus 9 whole square is 81 divided by minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8, minus 9 plus 16 is 7. It is minus 81 by 56. And C put T equal to minus 16. So minus 16 whole square. 256 divided by. Minus 16 plus 1 is minus 15. Into minus 16 plus 9 is minus 7. So minus and minus gets cancelled. So 256 by. So 1, 0, 5. So these are the three numbers that you have. So the partial fractions are this, this and this. So once the partial fractions are done, back sub should be equal to x square. So this integration becomes 1 by 120 times 1 by x square plus 1 dx minus 81 by 56 times integration of 1 by x square plus 9 dx plus 256 by 105 times integration of 1 by x square plus 16 dx. So I have done the partial fractions and then back substituted t equal to x square and then substituted this in the integration. So the integration got split into 3 times. That is equal to 1 by 120 tan inverse x minus 81 by 56 into 1 by 3 tan inverse of x by 3 plus 256 by 105 into 1 by 4 tan inverse of x by 4 plus c is the answer. So keep this problem in mind. Whenever in the question you have an expression completely made of x squares. So before doing the partial fractions in this way, take x square is equal to t, simplify the fraction and then do the partial fractions and then back substitute. You get the answer easily. So even if you do it in this way, you get the answer theoretically. So what you get is, you get A, C and E as zeros, B as 1 by 120, D 
B as minus 81 by 56 and F as 256 by 115. That's the answer that you're going to get. But you don't need to do so much working, you can use this shortcut. 